Hello, I'm Ian Lowe, the head teacher at Topcliffe Primary School. Um, Topcliffe is in Birmingham, the northeast side of Birmingham, and we have a one form entry primary school with a uh, speech and language unit and a autistic spectrum unit uh, together, which have around about 50 to 60 children. Um, we were very, very inclusive, and we recently won the inclusion uh, mark, which we're very proud of. The um, we got involved with uh, the ECHOES project when I went to uh, a conference held by the Communication and Autism team in Birmingham and Karen Goldberg was speaking about the ECHOES and, um, and looking at how uh, children with autism communicate with technology. Um, and I found it fascinating what she was talking about. So I uh, got myself involved and nestled in with her and said, oh, you need to come to Topcliffe. So she, we eventually got to Topcliffe and, um, and she started the project with a Key Stage 1 autism uh, class and then also a group of children from uh, reception just to sort of compare if there's any differences in, in, in the understanding and communication in relation to the technology. The technology itself had a, had a, has a, had a massive impact on children involved with the uh, with autism and in fact that enabled them to communicate and succeed without any any barriers or feeling uh, constrained by um, everyday teaching they were actually free to explore and and learn and develop by themselves which was which was absolutely fascinating to see um, and especially with children who who have very very poor communication skills the other aspect which I found really really fascinating was that it kind of inspired the school to look at how that technology and then the pedagogy of, of learning can actually help all children who have um, communication difficulties and actually all children uh, full stop really. So as a result of that, the, the school has really, really high aspirations for the children. So it helps the, the school and the children develop their own understanding of what learning is. And we've done that with the support of employing an educational psychologist who is now looking at the ways in which the, the ECHOES project supported communication and then sharing that information and knowledge to support everyday teaching with groups of children and, um, and classes in the way that actually staff deliver um, lessons and actually looking at actually how children process instructions and information. So hopefully those were specifically looking at children who may, may not be uh, on the SEN register, but may not reach those national standards. And actually, what is about those children that, um, and the way that they learn? Can we actually improve their life chances by giving them a, a better education? So that has had an impact on, on, those, on the relationship of that school, and the, like, sorry, that relationship of the school in that aspect. The other aspect is the fact that actually, for a school which is in a relatively deprived area with very poor aspiration as a whole, it has a big impact on working with not just Birmingham University but also the other universities in relation to Nottingham and other um, uh, and Southampton universities in, in talking about their technologies and actually have the children seeing um, an event like this where uh, academics are here and they're normal people and you know want the best for everybody and these children are, are interacting and our parents are interacting with with this technology and talking to and discussing you know real problems that they have in with autism and dealing with children with autism it really does help them understand that the ethos of the school which is partly is aspiration and success we are actually living what, what we're trying to uh, to achieve so that gives a real big impact on, on the children that they are actually seeing and talking to um, uh, you know, universities which hopefully will inspire them to go to university themselves.